So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to collect data that's an interval. So it's a, a specified amount of time, and it's a specified type of time. For example, three weeks, four months, one year, 60 seconds. So it's the type of data, the format of the data will take the form of a number followed by uh, uh, the period. And the way you get this kind of data is you choose the interaction type, duration extraction. So this means the bot will analyze uh, for valid forms of duration. I'll just call it interval and create it. So the box message is, uh, please leave the interval lengths below. It doesn't get the right format. It'll say, oh dear. And you try again a number. I'm expect let's tell the, the user what they're expecting. I'm expecting number followed by a period. Let's just connect that up. So the message is, would you like a reminder to be sent? So that might be a typical uh, situation in which you need this kind of data. And if they say yes, then we'll go to interval. Notice that I have the highlight extracted data in chat on. This means the user will see what data has actually been extracted and they can tell then that they've actually sent the right information. And when we test the bot, we'll put the corresponding button on here, highlight extracted data. So would you like a reminder to be sent? Yes, please leave the interval one week. That's actually invalid because I wrote one. I didn't mean to, but it's useful because it shows you the error message. Let's try again with the correct one. And um, fortunately, our error message tells us what the bot's expecting. And notice it's translated the interval into seconds so that the bot will always translate, even if it's a huge interval, like let's say three years. Oops, I typed the words again. Oops, expecting number. Three years. Boom. There's all the uh, seconds that three years is.